After victory against the Canberra Knights on Saturday, Perth Thunder were looking for back-to-back -back wins for the second time at Perth Ice Arena this season, when the two sides met the following day. Once the puck dropped, it was the home side who created the first scoring opportunity. The Knights failed to clear their defensive zone adequately and following a tussle for possession between David Kudler and Mark Ramakainen, Sam Wilson stole the puck and set up Kudler, but Slough and White saved. Following that attack, Byers and Kudler had a minor altercation which set the tone for the evening. Following a face-off soon after, Michael Forney picked out Kenny Rolfe on the boards, who fired the puck into the crease. A mix-up between Byers and Slam White in goal was pounced on by Robert Hazelhurst, who forced the puck over the line for the Thunder's opening goal. On the replay from behind the goal, you'll see great opportunism by Hazelhurst, who squeezed the puck through the smallest of gaps to score his first goal for the Thunder. Soon after, Michael Forney set off from inside his defensive zone, crossed the blue line and shot, but Slam White was well placed to save, before he was hit late by Brad Young. Next, Kenny Rolfe went on the attack for the Perth Thunder. Close attention from James Byers prevented the shot, so he looked to set up Sean Hamilton, but Byers put in a good block. With the Knights short-handed, Andrew Cox's pass on the blue line was intercepted by Jordan Gavin, who arrowed in on goal, but his shot was saved by Michael Smart. Then it was Michael Forney who lost possession for the Thunder, and the Knights broke forward out of defence. Jordan Braid slipped the puck to Gavin, who made no mistake at the back post. The Knights had pulled level. Smart was left with no chance as he positioned himself for the shot from Braid. He was unable to cover his post or the shot from Gavin. The second period started like the first, in a feisty fashion, when Michael Smart was upended. But Andrew Cox soon came to his netminder's defence. There was no doubt this was a close contest, and Forney could not believe his luck when his snapshot rebounded off the frame of the goal. The Knights were first to the rebound and mounted a swift counter-attack, but Smart saved Baird's effort easily. The Thunder then counter-attacked themselves through Jordan Kairos, who left the puck for Cox, who shot, but Slough and White saved. Then, in the dying minutes of the period, virtually out of nothing, the Knights took the lead. Jordan Braid received the puck on the boards and tried his luck. The puck sailed past Smart, hit the crossbar and nestled in the net. 2-1 to the Knights. Braid's rising backhand shot beat Smart on the short side, hit the crossbar and dropped into the net. Minutes later, Suzerini's delicate pass meant Braid was left with just Smart to beat, but his shot so well wide of the goal. The Thunder picked up possession off the boards and David Ruck fed Jonathan Bremner, but his backhand shot went straight at Slown White. The start of the third period and a wonderful pass by Rolf sent Forney free. But once again, Slam White was perfectly placed to prevent a goal. With the Thunder short-handed, Ramakainen lost possession on the blue line to Kenny Rolfe, and only a superb diving effort by Mikko Jortika prevented him taking a clear path to goal. Time was running out for the Thunder, but they remained patient. Sam Wilson carried the puck into the attacking zone, skated behind the goal, played a quick one-two with Rick Del Basso before shooting. His shot beat Slam White and the Thunder were level, two all. The reverse angle shows the quality of Sam Wilson's finish, lifting the puck past the raised waffle and into the roof of the net. High fives all around from the Thunder squad, but the question their loyal fans wanted to know was, could they find a winner? They went in search of one, and when Brad Young shot, Slam White saved. The Knights looked to have survived, but the netminder failed to freeze the puck, and following a scramble, it squirted to Kenny Rolfe, who poked it home. 3-2 to the Thunder, and their fans went wild. From behind the goal, it's hard to see exactly what happens until the puck squirts free and Rolf, quick as a flash, pounces and fires it home. The Knights, stung by that goal, looked to get back on even terms immediately, but Byers was denied by Smart and the rebound fell fortunately to a Thunder player. Despite the Knights having a power play, Rolf stole possession for the Thunder at the blue line. He showed great stick work to make space for a shot, but Slam White blocked once again. 
Even-handed, Forney picked up possession in the defensive zone. He skated over the blue line and looked about to finish the game in style for the Thunder. But his run was halted by Cesarini. Cox kept the tack alive, setting up Rolf, but Slam White saved and eventually froze the puck. In the final minute, the Knights launched one last attack. The puck came to Braid, but Smart made a sharp save and was helped out by Kudler to clear the rebound. The sirens sounded and the players embraced. Their unbeaten run at home still intact and once again the Thunder had gone back to back. The final score per Thunder 3, Canberra Knights 2.